go, folks. Welcome to All Hallows Extreme. We got ourselves here a tornado tag title match under hardcore stipulations. Making their way to the ring, Krispy Kreme and Louise Cruz. Interesting, kind of a spur of the moment number one contenders. Krispy Kreme just recently pinned the world champion, Bob Van Dan, who I think is a total douchebag. And then we got this newcomer here, Louise. So we'll see what these guys have to offer. And what we got coming out here, folks, next is my two favorite guys. Yes. 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 Well, there. Well, are we gonna are we gonna see them? I wanna see them. These guys have a tendency to just get me really excited. There they are! Here they are, folks! The tag team champions! Trey Buckley, Lance Mannion. City Escape! Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. You know, donuts are really fattening for you. No protein whatsoever. Oh, yes. My favorite part. Yeah. I just, something about that just, I just seem to get excited whenever they do that. I don't know what it is. Ourselves a interesting tornado mo tag mode. Oh, Krispy Kreme going right at it, and Louise is too. Oh, they're gonna start. They're gonna start right away. Oh my, they're going right into the tornado tag right away. Oh my, oh my, too much action for this this guy right here. Oh my, Louise has got Buckley up. What's he go for? And a scoop slam. Ooh, Chris working on Lance Vernon in the corner there. What's gonna happen here, folks? I, I honestly can't tell. The element of surprise. Oh my! I mean, Buckley hasn't even gotten his jacket off yet. What's he got? Okay, there he goes. Uh oh! Oh, a super kick from Lance Mannion on Krispy Kreme. Oh man, what's gonna, yeah, you gotta remember folks, this is hardcore rules, anything goes. Oh man, what's Krispy gonna do? Oh man, oh, they took each other out. Oh, chops in the corner from Buckley, oh. What are they gonna do? Oh my, what's going on? What's Buckley going for here? And Lance is both trying. They seem to be, both both partners seem to be sticking with each other. Oh no, what for the tornado tag? Oh, and a clothesline. Oh man, there's just way too much action going on. My goodness. What's going to happen here? Bring in the thunder. Oh no. And 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 Crispy's out of the ring. What's going to happen? You got Lance. Oh man. Oh. That looked like it really hurt. He goes for the cover. Annie Louise kicks out. Crispy's still outside of the ring. Although he seems to be finally regaining his composure. Do some, do some hardcore shit, guys. Yeah. Buckley reminded us all that this is a hardcore match. Oh my. Oh, what a kick to the back. Oh, and the chair from me. 
That that had to hurt. That sounded like it hurt. They're going for it. Oh, putting pressure on that leg. And Krispy Kreme trying to get back into the match. He needs a damn donut. Oh man. We got to be in supervisors, man. Come on. Yes, sir. We got this. Oh my. What 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 are they doing? What are they going for? Oh a double suplex. And they go for the cover. Oh my goodness! How does he do that? I mean the guy only eats donuts. It's the Bronco Buster. Oh no. Oh man, he's going. Oh, he might have it. Oh, he kicked out. I can't believe Lance Manion kicked out. Well, actually, I can't believe that. He's just amazing. Oh man. Oh man. What's happening? What what is happening? Uh oh! No, but no, Jay! No, not like this! Oh no! Looks like he's gonna go for a su oh a vertical suplex! Quite the torque on that move. He might get this. Goes for the cover and a kick out at two. My goodness! What what what's gonna happen next? Oh, oh, a double hip toss. And, and looks like Manning is exasperated at the moment. Oh, man. Oh, he gets him into a chin lock there. Cruz doesn't seem to appear to know what's going on as he gets the chair into the ropes. Manning works on Cruz. Oh, reverses it. Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt. That reminds me of the time my ex-wife hit me with a frying pan. Oh, man. What a wicked impact. Goes for the cover. And Krispy Kreme breaks it up. Ref calls for two there. Almost a three. That was like a, a, a two and a, I don't know what's more than half, but whatever that is. Man, you can tell that these guys are just tired. Just so tired. They are totally exasperated, but it seems like Buckley still has some energy left. What, oh, is he going for it? Oh, man. Cruz rallying. He is rallying. Oh, and oh, Mania goes for the splash. Going for a little ride there. And a clothesline. Goes for the cover. Oh, rolling thunder. Goes for the cover. And it, it's broken up again. Man, these guys are, these guys just keep fighting. No give up in these two. No. And a DDT. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And he. Oh. Oh. The knees to the stomach there of Mannion. Cruz is still rallying. This guy's got some fight. Man, Crispy is just working on and a super kick. Oh my goodness, just too much action for this for this announcer right here. Oh man, and somebody apparently is getting a collect call, which reminds me, this match is brought to you by 1-800 Call ATT. Oh, hello, hi. Oh, 
Cruz starting moots out. And Cruz breaks it up. What's, what's he going for? Oh no. And Chris was out of the ring. Oh no. Is this gonna be it? Oh, Lance is calling for it. Oh, that's gotta be it. And there it is. City Escape retains. They remain tag team champs. Yeah, baby. That's how it is. The greatest tag team in HCW history. Oh, oh, he's pumping his super soaker. Man, I just love it when he pumps his super soaker like that. I just wish I could get it just all over me. Oh. Oh, man, eating his donuts, so disrespectful. That's why I like this guy. And there it is, folks. We got more HCW action coming up right after this. Now, making his way out to the ring, perhaps a, a little shooken up from his match earlier, this is the natural Colt Williams. And uh, ladies and gents, we've got a treat for you on this All Hallows Extreme. That's right. This one's gonna be a coffin match. And the first person to be put into the coffin and have the door shut on them will be the loser. The one doing the shutting will be victorious. And now, making his way to the ring, pipe wrench, cowboy hat, and all hailing from the Grand Canyon. This is the Wrangler. And the Wrangler, despite being a dastardly man, is somewhat of a crowd favorite. And we've got a bell ring. And this boy is officially underway. Oh, right into a lockup. And the Wrangler. Pushes Colt off. Oh wow, just a collision mid ring. But a kick from Wrangler. And Colt Williams was already wrestled in a match today. Off the ropes. Oh man, just a tackle. Wrangler doesn't leave his feet, but Colt Williams does. And now just a big stomp. Wrangler. Not so sure uh, what what these guys are mad at each other about, but Wrangler wants to put Colt Williams in the ground, and that's a good way to start with a big double accidental blow, almost like a Polish hammer. What an interesting maneuver, a top rope, or a second rope reverse Polish hammer. Innovative offense, and we always see the Wrangler do something new, almost every match. Big stunner, Colt Williams knocked out. Almost, I mean, it appeared that way. Kind of fell onto the Wrangler. And now, just right hands. The Wrangler, just working over former HCW champ, Cole Williams. A honor that the Wrangler has not yet had. Sends him into the ropes. Oh, Cole Williams had a bit more momentum behind him, obviously, as he hit the ropes. Wrangler knocked down. Cole Williams, oh. Now working the right hands. Oh man, big bionic elbow. 
shades of someone who is late and great. Cole Williams, looking for OCD Splash, goes for it, lands on his feet though. Oh, Wrangler countering, and again a stunner. Cole Williams, face down on the ground now. Wrangler, what's he looking for? Oh, he's gonna try to push him out of the ring and end this boy. Oh wow, just a stop right to the heart and another. Wrangler is a ruthless, ruthless man. <clears throat> is he gonna get him in? Oh man, a third stunner. Cole Williams into the casket and the door just closed. And the Wrangler. Victorious here today against Cole Williams. We better get ready to put the old man in the ground. Wrangler. Never fuck with the wrench. Never fuck with the wrench. Strong words. The Grand Canyon Zone and one of my favorite. All right, folks. More action. All Hallows Extreme. Hey. Now making his way out to the ring. Real heel. Real Jeff heel. Jeff Keel making his way out today. And we've got a uh, slobber knocker in the making here. Today. You know, I'm just going to be beating up an old man. It's going to look horrible. Anyone that loves their grandfather should watch. So I'm going to beat up this washed up cold piece of crap named Cole Williams. Oh my god, what a change of heart. These guys used former tag team champs together. Come on. So it's going to be a uh, three stages of hell match um, between Cole Williams and Jeff Keel, former former tag team champs, former members of the Natural Born Heels together, and uh, they came up in this company together. But uh, yeah, as we await the arrival of Cole Williams. And here he is, now making his way out to the ring, the natural Colt Williams. A former HCW world champion, former Great Lakes champion, former three-time tag champ, I believe. Dressed up like a real man. Really? I'm the only guy. You just hurt me. I'm not even trying to pay attention to him right now. <laughs> and so, a, a clash of former friends. And it's underway. Bum rush from Jeff Keel right into the shoulder blocks, shoulder tackles. And Cole Williams just shoves him right off. Cole Williams now. Some knife edge boys and an overhand boy. Now looking to stop the chest of his former friend and partner in this crazy sport we call professional wrestling. Jeff now working on the natural, but again, the natural outpowering Jeffrey Keel. Oh man, short arm lariat. Oh, he's going for something. Oh, and kicking him low. I, uh, I think I started to mention it. Um, this match is Three Stages of Pain, which is a Colt Williams original, uh, which has our first match. Oh, what is this? Jeffrey Keel, now exiting the arena. Where's he going? This match is false count anywhere, ref? Yes, okay, so the first fall is gonna be false count anywhere. I guess Jeffrey Keel. And oh, there's Mr. Yeah. Keel. Oh my goodness. Dirty oh man. Oh my god. DDT on the steel chair outside on the grass. Oh my god. And Jeff Keel pulls out the first fall. 
in the false count anywhere uh, stipulation. And uh, two more, two more. so next, referee, just remind me. Um, Jeff Keel gonna take Cole Williams back to the ring, but he's not gonna get in a few, a few shots. Before it's too late. Throws Cole Williams back in. Referee, please remind me what the stipulation is. Submissions count. Submissions count anywhere. My good golly. And uh, Colt Williams, of course, the submission specialist in this case. Oh man, he locks in a rear naked choke and he's got all his weight on the back just cinching the air out of Jeffrey Keel. Jeff might be, might be going to sleep here, but you can see the me. Jeffrey Keel, is he, the knockout isn't until the third fall, but uh, Cole Williams might have just killed two, two falls with one stone here. Jeffrey hey, Keel bro. is out. And Cole Williams, victorious in the second fall. Uh, got a ring bell. And the ref calls for the bell, he's going to try it. His vital senses from Jeffrey Keel returning after just a short minute out there. He's ready to go. Oh man. Right to the gut. The kick from Colt Williams. And Jeffrey now battling back as if he was never knocked out at all. With the kicks. Reverses the Irish whip and Jeffrey now sent into the corner. Oh man, big high knee. Cole Williams got some momentum behind that one. Come on. Take a breather, baby. Jeffrey Keel is gonna try to catch a breather on the outside. This is pretty much an anything goes match. We could see a a knockout by by any type of means, submission or you know, blunt force trauma to the head. Stop! Oh my god. Ah! Trying to get him up on his shoulders. Can't do it. Does it. Oh man, double eye poke. And both men just struggling for their vision after that eye poke. Double eye poke. These guys were a team at one point for a reason, and you can see that coming through in their wrestling. Oh, wow. Elbow drop from Jeff Keel. Nicely done. Put, put some showmanship into it. Oh, my goodness. Can he get him up? He got him up. Just barely, but he was, got him up enough to drop him down. Keel now, second row, maybe looking for his signature elbow. Oh, yes, and he nails it across the chest. Jeff Keel always surprises me with the amount of distance he covers off that second rope. Cole Williams is still in this matchup, though. He not yet been knocked out. Oh, my God. What does Jeffrey Keel have in mind now? Oh my God, he is singing to himself, trying to will some life back into his, his body here. And what is this? My God, what is Jeff Keel going to do with that board? That is not, you know, the standard table you might see in a pro wrestling match. That's just a plank of wood. Oh my God, Jeffrey. Oh my God, right into that board. And that boy snapped. Oh my God. Cole Williams really lucked out in reversing that Irish whip. I think this is going to be it for Jeff. Oh, Cole Williams slips on his way up to the second rope, but catches, catches the bottom, still able to get a good jump out of it. 
And now, Cole Williams. Uh-oh, we know what this is. Oh my God. Tries to get the legs up. Cole Williams, perhaps not flexible enough. Oh wow, right behind him and uh, catches the clothesline in the corner. Jeff Keel now has the advantage. Oh man, knee drop to the side of the head, right in the temple. That's a good way to knock a man out. Needs to work on that, yep, and he's going right into a sleeper hold submission now. Gonna try to knock him out. If he can. Go to sleep, old man. Nap time. Yeah. And Colt Williams appears to have some life left, but maybe not. I just saw the arm drop. <laughs> Jeffrey Keel. Look at this old guy. Biding his time, just making fun of the, the, his elder. That's not nice at all, but. Oh, man. Colt Williams reverses into a small package DDT there. Had the double arms hooked, so no, no way Jeff is going to uh, get his hands up. Oh man, it's just a clubbing blow with the elbow that time. Jeff Keel. Right on top of him now. Teeing off. Oh, leg drop. <coughs> Jeff now. He needs to find a window here to knock Cole Williams out. I don't believe Cole Williams is... If he has tapped out or been submitted in any way, it's only been on a rare occasion. These guys are just battling back now with the forearm blows. Cole Williams with a, a left hand, the southpaw. Off the ropes, ducks the line. Oh man, and Cole Williams came full head that time. Full head of steam. Jeffrey Keel, maybe Get up. on the fringes of being knocked out here. Oh my God, resorting to foul language will get you nowhere. Oh my God, whoa, the referee, the referee Wild Man Dan, apparently Cole Williams has been knocked out by Jeffrey Keel, that last blow and the ref caught it and was able to stop him from doing further damage to a, uh, a soulless man. And Jeffrey Keel, victorious today. Stay tuned, folks. We've got more HCW Wrestling up next. And here comes trouble. Ramo making his way out to the ring. One of another one of my favorite performers here. Ramo, the realest MFer in the building, I tell ya. And despite standing alone, Ramo is alone here tonight. His tag team partner, the Wrangler, nowhere to be found. But uh, perhaps that will make for a more interesting match as Ramo is set to go one on one with this man. From the salt mines of Utah, this is. Jay Demise. And he's carrying the chain. Uh, this match is going to be a chain match. These two men will be chained together. And you can see that is a real chain. That is a solid steel chain. No gimmicks here in HCW. And 
these two do have a bit of history. Demise, of course, pinning Ramo, or not pinning, I should say, but Demise winning the first ever casket match in HCW against Ramo at Thy Kingdom Come 2015. Check that show out on YouTube. It's a doozy, folks. And the ref has them securely chained on one another. Ramo has a big, a big hill to climb in defeating Jay Demise. All right, so that chain, it will come into play. I can guarantee you that. We're gonna start with a little tug of war. Ramo tried to bum rush Jay Demise there, but Demise with a kick early. Oh man, and that time he just caught him high with that big boot. Oh, he's gonna send him over the top rope, but... Uh-oh. Oh, what is he gonna do? Oh, man. Oh, my God. He's going to... He's going to kill the man. Right here in front of us. We're about to see a man die if... Oh, Ramo. Wow. Thank goodness for that, Ramo. Able to, uh... Able to hang Jay Demise up on the top rope. Demise now, if he's gonna make it outside, needs to go over the top rope, or we got it. Entanglement of sorts. Demise is going to try to fish Ramo back into the ring here. He's got him by the head. Oh man, Ramo over the top rope with authority. And that chain restricts your movement. Uh, and you can see that came into play that time. Demise now exiting underneath the bottom rope. Ramo is maybe going to be forced to do the same. As the tug of war continues, oh man, Demise had the lower ground and in that, in that case, I think that gave him the advantage. Just wrapping the chain around the neck, just pressing. Demise, oh man, sent him into the steel ring post. And now Demise has his eyes on a steel chair that Chain almost not allowing him to reach it, but just enough. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That was a kill shot. And that, oh man. Just destroys Demise with the chain chair shot that time. I'm sorry. My God. But Demise was swinging for the fences that time. Ramo now. Oh, he's got the, he's got Old Faithful. He's taking her into the ring. This match obviously is not a disqualification, or otherwise it would have been over by now. Oh man, oh. He pump faked high and went low. Oh man, went for the head. Oh my God, and Demise has been busted open. How did that even happen? Demise, the blood trickling down his forehead. Oh man, oh, Ramo hard into the ladder. Oh, and just a kick from Demise. Demise really working Ramo over here. Ramo needs to find some sort of, oh, and again, hard into the ladder. Ramo is in a bad way. Demise though, losing some blood and you can see that taking a toll on him. A little, a little hesitant as, oh wow, oh man, wow. Creative offense using the chain from Ramo. He had the chain between the legs of Demise and just flipped him over that way. That's a lot of pressure on the you know what. Oh no. What is Ramo about to do? Ramo, second row, oh man! He may have just taken himself out with that move, but Demise caught the frog splash splatter sandwich in between the two men. My God! Cover, oh man, and Demise just barely able to kick out of that one. 
and got his left shoulder off the canvas. Oh man, Ramo, that is innovative. Using the chain, just working on that open wound of Jada Mize. Now scooping him back up. Oh man, tripped him with the chain that time. Ramo. The control is now in Ramo's favor. He's going for another chain loaded punch. Oh, went for the Superman variety. Oh wow. Nice move from Demise. Able to use that counter momentum from the chain and just brought it in a back elbow hard. Oh, and a leg drop. Only two. I'm just wondering, like, what are, what can these guys realistically do when they're chained up to one another? This hasn't really been much of a wrestling match, so to speak. It's really been more of a fight. Oh man, the chain tied up around Ramo's neck. That's just an uncomfortable thing to see. And again, wrapping the chain around. Oh man, that was visceral. Ramo. Now being sent outside the ring, it looks like, yes. And Demise is gonna follow him out. Oh man, right into the brick wall, my God. That's just ruthless, that's ruthless, folks. Demise now, again, sending Ramo hard into that brick wall. Good Lord, the HCW arena is not a soft one. And again, oh man, he countered last second. Demise. Down on his back now. Oh wow, and Ramo is getting creative here, tying him up sort of. Oh man. And the vintage Ramo low blow, no need to distract the referee since there are no DQs in this match. Ramo. Demise though sits up, he does have that supernatural ability to feel no pain. Oh man, our shoulder first into that, that steel ring post. And that is not your friend, not Ramo's friend anyway, as he's sent back into the ring. Demise is going to be looking for something here, it looks like, but Ramo, try, he has the chain wrap. Oh man, caught him with the punch. And he might need to look for another one as Demise still. Still not leaving a vertical base. Oh, and a spear. That's going to do it, I think. Oh my God, Ramo is able to pull out the victory. And the referee unchains him from his opponent. Ramo is able to get enough of an open window for the spear. And that spear, no. People don't kick out of that spear, I tell you. Ramo with quite a showing, taking out Jada Mize. Score is even now. And a bow from Ramo. I love it, folks. We have more HDW wrestling coming up just in a minute. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is HCW. We have a quite a good matchup here. Let's go, people! There right. it is. Come on! Go on. Oh, here, look, look. I respect this kid, he got talent. I'm ready to see what he got. But was he scheduled to wrestle tonight? Ah, uh, no, he actually wasn't. Uh -huh. I don't know what he's... The former U.S. champ. Wasn't scheduled to be here tonight. I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on. So, this what? We're, what are we doing, a promo here? What's going on? No. I'm getting really tired of being 
happened on the losing side of the city escape. So tonight, I challenge Lance Mannion to a street fight, and I put my career on the line. Oh. What did the young man talk about his know. career? He just started. What's going on? I think he's being a little. What are you doing, kid? Go, man. Uh, hang on now. Come on. It makes no sense. Come right. Put his career on the line. Brett, can you stop him? Yes. Can you I'm talk? Him? Can you talk him out? What's going on? The kid just started. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes, you got nah, it. Huh? I don't think this is a good idea. Well, we all know this music. And get here to answer the call. Motherfucking man. That's the guy right there. At least. Try 10 million. Danny will be after tonight. Well, he put his career on like, so I wonder if the tag team can't oh. have to about Y'all keep checking it. Y'all throw it back in here. I wonder what the tag team can't even accept the challenge. It just, it makes no sense. The kid is too young. Why would he just accept this challenge? I guess he didn't care. Oh! oh. Yeah. And he's all shook up. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Cool. He kicked the Elvis Presley out that mom. Come on, baby. Hey. Two. Oh. Danny oh. Boy. You're better than that, Danny Boy. <laughs> Danny Boy kind of returning the favor there. Hey, man, suck your own dick. <laughs> You're going to need to kiss it after this. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a rare naked choke right there. Come on! Come on, man! Come on! You know how much this match meant to him, where he put his young He put his young career on the line against a former heavyweight champion, now tag team champion. He really thinks he can beat the guy. After two at all, Come on, baby. Show me your moves. Oh, come on, Lance. Oh, wow. oh. That's a later oh. clock right there. Uh -oh. Let's see what happened. Come on, Lance. Oh, you got God. it, buddy. Lance yeah. Mannion is kind of collapsing. I'm rooting for the little fella. I kind of like him. I like his style. I want to see him around a little bit more. Oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> What is he doing? He's going, he's going all out. Look what the hell he's doing. He's going all out. This championship means something. I have half a mind to grab that chair. You have half a mind to grab the chair. That is a great tag team partner right there. They need more like you. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to set this bitch on fire. There's a lot of weapons in the ring, Lance. We forgot the kitchen sink. Nah, it's out back. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We all have to do this, Dan and Dan. Oh. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> well, if that was me, I was. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Oh. You gotta keep your eye on the crowd at all times, kid. Oh. Your career is on the line. Fight like you mean it. Oh. oh, hell. Come on, son.
You hit that wrong, didn't you? You alright? Let's bob them together. Hey, come on, man. You got a symbol monkey here. <laughs> oh shit. What is something? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I guess he knew did he know he was gonna have to go against two against one? This is not even fair. Now hang on. No, no, careers on the line. But this is no DQ. He signed Come up for on. this. You got to give him something. There's nobody back there that can help him. It's two against one. God! He needs to learn his lesson. Come on, son. Oh, hell. Ref, can you call the match? Oh, my God, what's going on? Oh, Come on, kid. Let's fucking kill this boy. You hear his tag team partner saying, let's kill the boy. What's going on? Have some common courtesy. Can you at least quit the match? Can you stop the match? And he's steady fight. He's steady fighting. It's two against one in all types of weapons. This is not working. It's not two against one. There's two guys Oh, come on. I see you. It's two against one. Oh, my God. And all these weapons. Come on. What is going on? What's going on? Dude, it's not two against one again? It's not two against one? Why you're in the ring? Oh! They done kicked the poor boy head off his shoulder. Great vets, why don't you? Amazing bet. Show some class. Have a little respect. One, two, and he's still. Stay down, kid. Stay down. What the fuck? What an idiot. To even kick out. Yes. Have a mind. When I put these on, I turn the Your shape up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Run it down the ring. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh. Get out. What an angel. But evening the odds here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Lance, the turn around. Has, and now we have a one-on-one -on -one match, like we should have been in the first time. Oh, kid, come on, kid. Come on. Get it together. What were you leaving the ring for? You had the one, two, three. What the hell is going on? Is we going to let his cockiness over? Oh, shit. That's not, that, that's not cockiness. I think that's security. You do there. not have a point to prove. All you have to do is win the match. Go win the match. Go win the match, kid. I think that's what he's doing. No, he's getting overzealous. Go win the match. You had him down for three. He's still down. Win the match. That commentator's acting like mothers now. I'm in my JR mode. Excuse me. Give it up to him. Oh! 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 I bet you that tickled. Oh! Danny boy. Daniel Derricks. Still showing signs of life here. The commentator's mind was just blown to the head when he stepped to ringside. Uh, I hey, think wait, that wait, Landon wait, tried wait. moving away from that buffet buster, but... Yeah, uh, he almost got out of the way, but almost doesn't cut it. You know, uh, Danny Derricks is a big boy. There's a lot of senton going on, so uh, it's hard to fully clear that. <sighs> and it seems like uh, we got the commentator back. Two people commentating this great match. Oh my God. I need a little extra help with two sweet chin moves to the chair. Three. I'm surprised the kid is still standing. He's got fight. I, I've always, seen, I've always said Danny Derricks puts up one hell of a fight. Well, showing some athleticism. Yeah, a better super kick. I mean, he I guess put him down so in one. Oh, one, two, three. Did he beat him? Oh, oh. oh. This kid is having an epic match. It is the fight of his life. Uh, Lance Manning kind of showing the effects. He put it on the line. Against a former heavyweight champion, a tag team champion. Why would he do such a thing? 
I mean, to prove a point, if he does, go over. I mean, if he wins this match, you get But then if you lose, you're at home watching it on TV. What's the point? Maybe this is something he has to prove to himself. Maybe. He feels maybe. With how much uh, City Escape's just been, you know, ruining D&D's day that he's got to just put up the shut up. Oh, oh God. Oh. All right, BK, it's over. Cut her there. One, two, one. So in signs of life. <laughs> I've never seen him get that high before. He actually put a lot in that. Come on, kid. And he's fighting. He's all he can do. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be fighting. It just has to keep fighting back. And it's going to be tough because Lance is no small boy either. No, he's not. Start from it. Oh, he's been in the ring with him a couple times. times. One I got my ass kicked and one I actually beat him. Well, he was. Now, Lance Bean, you might act a little bit comedic, but he knows what he's doing. And he's, it's just a, uh, just a great fight. Yeah, I would I would like to say there would be no losers in this, but somebody's going to lose. Someone's going to go down. Oh, and it might he hit his finisher. Kenny might. Britney. Kenny Britney. Two. Oh, oh, just the two. Come on, Lance. He counted the two. That's all he can do is count the two. Anybody would be frustrated if this He counted the two. You cannot ask him to do anything. He cannot give you the three. Here, here, here's where Danny Derrick seems to keep his eye on the ball. Yes, the finisher yes. didn't do it, but there are no rules. You know, beat the crap out of him. You've got, you've you've got, got it metal, all. you've got... There's you can do what you, you want. You might as well take advantage of that. This match would have been a wrap a long time ago. Oh! oh. Again with oh. the oh. Legal, oh. Legal, oh. legal, low blow. And he got you up. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Is he going to do? Is he going to roll through? Oh. Uh, no. On the cheer. Oh! On the cheer. One, two, three. Come on, come on. And ladies and gentlemen, as you have it, that was such a Lance Mangan is the winner of this match. Hey, boy. Try to handle it. Dirk McGavin loves the real heel, Jeff Keel. I'm on a hot streak. I beat up Cole Williams earlier tonight. Here to get my international title back. Did the, you wait? The title rematch. Real heel Jeff Keel, of course, the inaugural HCW international champ. You got that right. No disqualifications. People can't bitch about me cheating tonight. It's a cheating filled day here at All Hallows Extreme. And uh, Diablo was the one who recently captured that belt um, from Jeff Keel. And Diablo has also recently had a change of heart. And he's not very nice like he used to be. He's always been kind of a creepy guy, but it used to be a good kind of creepy. Now I'm not sure I like it. And here he comes and oh my God, what is that? That is grotesque. He is wearing a, an apron made out of human body parts. That's you. Perhaps looking to add Jeff Keel's face to it next. Look at the way he just set that down, almost like it means something to him.
Diablo. This will be his first defense of the title. He hands the title off to the referee, perhaps for the last time. Also the first time. But uh, I have faith in my boy Diablo, despite his, uh, his recent change of attitude. And I have respect for the real heel as well. He's, uh, he be aight. More than I ever get. Great. Read the bell. The referee calls for the bell. This one's underway. And, uh, what the first kind of match is this? Iron Man match. Iron Man? Well, Falls Count anywhere. It's not an Iron Man match. You can see the, uh, oh, lock up. Uh, ooh, right into the side headlock. Nice. Jeff Keel really going to town on that headlock. Backed up, off the ropes. Oh, but Jeff Keel gets his knee down and able to uh, stop the momentum. Side headlock takeover. Oh, wow, and this breaking it up. Diablo getting his leg up. Keel turning it into a jackknife pin. Only two. And Diablo back up to his feet quickly. Again, with the collar elbow tie up, Keel again uh, gaining the advantage. Off the ropes. Oh, and a close line. Diablo down. Keel just shoving him down with his foot. And you can see Spike Vendetta is at ringside, but he's had a, a few rough matches of his own today, so I don't know if we'll see him coming to play, but I wager we would. Just a collision. Diablo just booking through Jeff Keel. Now picking him up on a big clubbing blow, sending him right back down. Diablo now. He's got him in the corner. Oh my god, look at that move. He's just got his leg up in the face and he's wrenching down on the arm. That is not a not a good feeling. And he's got the mug of Spike Vendetta to look at while he waits. And outside the ring goes Jeff Keel. Diablo is looking for something, I think. He hops out like a cat. Oh man, I was in the way. Sends him right into the brick. Oh my god. Into the barrels. Oh, no. oh man. And Keel is able to counter. Oh, and then hard into that. Oh my god, what is this? Oh man, just sandwiches in that big steel barrel. That those are not light. Um same barrels we use for our entrance way. Oh man, Irish whip, and he goes face first into the steel. Diablo's feeling that. You know what? Why not? Oh man! It's legal! Keel taking advantage of the lack of rules here today. And uh, that's smart wrestling. What can you say about that? I mean, nothing else you can really say. Oh man, and now into the steel support beam there. There's a lot of, of things that can hurt you here in this HCW arena. Oh man, sends him onto those, those palace. Jeff Keel went down kind of hard there. Diablo now, oh man, he slips but didn't fall too bad. Lucky for him. Diablo unleashing the fury on Jeff Keel. What is he gonna, what the frick? What the hell is this? What has he got in mind? Oh, man. He hit a D'Lo Brown frog splash. I was thinking we were gonna see a 450, but that would have been a little too crazy, I think. Oh, now he's, oh, he's got his arm rung in the rungs of the ladder. Oh, now he's, what is he doing now? Oh, man, 
It's a big overhand Don't shot. One of those. He's too old. Talking shit about his former yeah. partner still. No! And again with that chicken wing slap. I don't even know. It's like a Oh man, and into these this equipment over here. Oh man. And into the dolly, but Oh, what is this? He's trying to get Jeff Keel on the dolly. And he does. Oh my god! Run right into the wall. Diablo is messed up. Barely has a lot left. Barely has anything left, but uh he's able to just Oh my god, he's at the parking cone now. This is lethal! Right to the ribs. Oh man, a big shot to the back. Now what is this? Oh man, into that chain uh, into that chicken. That is like chicken wire or something. And went low just to uh, subdue him for a bit. Oh man, right into those parking cones. Wanna hit me with it? Oh man, that was a smack. That did not feel good, I can tell you that. Oh man, it just trips him up. Uh oh, look at me, I got some high flying shit too. What's he gonna do? Oh man. Just jumped and then a big stomp. Now working the arm. Oh, he's trying to pull that shoulder out of socket. And that is a good way to subdue a man. Oh, I drag you back there. Oh my God. This is brutal. This is brutal. But oh, he got an elbow. Diablo is not going to let himself look like that much of a chump today. But Diablo is dirty as all get out. Tried to get away. Diablo is going to. Uh, looks like he has in officially incurred the wrath of Diablo. Oh, snapmare takeover over the top rope. Good stuff from Jeffrey Keel. Oh, now he's gotten the, getting the chair wedged. He's looking to inflict some some damage. Diablo favoring a, that shoulder that he's had issues with in the past. Oh man! Face first and Spike Vendetta approves. Diablo now. He's got an opening but he is clearly a little beat up. Oh man, what is this? With one arm he's got him up. Oh no! Jeff Keel trying to reverse it. Tried to uh, get a sunset flip out, but it's only two. And both men down, down for now. There will be no count outs as the referee does not count. And that would be why, because why would you have a count out in a Falls County or match? Makes no sense. We got a scoop and a slam just drops him. We're looking for the, the real the real elbow. Oh man, to the back of the head. And Diablo is, appears limp. He puts his genitalia right in the face of Diablo. But Diablo is able to get him off. It's not really the most effective cover. Actually, realistically, it, it could be very effective. Oh man, just wrenches the arm. Think about it, if you, put, if you were to sit on a man's face, would he be able to just get you off that easily? It's smart wrestling. And oh my goodness. Oh, short arm lariat from the Irish whip. And he's doing the one foot pin. Try it again. One of our fans in the UK will be delighted to see this. Two. Diablo looking, he was looking for the pile drivers, but 
Jeff Keel, but, oh, picks him up. What is this? Oh man, no. Diablo no. tried to go no. for, almost looked like a bangerang. Oh, Diablo though. Jeff Keel's shoulders were down on that exchange. I don't think he even realized that he was the one being pinned there, but no effect as it was a kick out anyway. Uh-oh, he's setting up for you-know-what as, oh man, and just raking both eyes. Because I can. And I mean, you would, even if you weren't allowed to. Oh man! The kick low, and I don't think I need to tell you where, where that one hit. Oh wow, into a cradle suplex. That was a very nice move. And Diablo is really feeling the effects of the, the real heels offense. Jeff now stepping back outside the ring looking for a tool it looks like. Uh oh, an old faithful makes another appearance. Okay. We're gonna see if we can end this curve. Jeff Keel apparently not looking just to regain his title, but to end Diablo. I mean, Diablo has been perhaps the biggest threat to his title and ultimately won the title off of him, so I can see where he might have some animosity towards the man. Diablo is one hell of an in-ring competitor though. Oh no! He did not catch that ladder in a good way. His leg, his, I believe his legs came down on it. I apologize for my, my piss poor camera angle, but. Look at this submission, I came up with all my. You get the idea, folks. Don't look at me. Oh man. He's got a vice choke of some kind here. He's just got the hand on the face of Diablo and Diablo trying to battle back and you can tell Diablo's in a lot of pain. He's gonna battle back here. Just pounding on him. And Diablo wincing in pain. This I hate to see it on any competitor. He is messed up. Calling him a hippie? I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, kill go round! And this is Diablo's window. He needs to capitalize. He needs to pull him away from those ropes. Oh my god, what? The ladder right by the head of Jeff Keel now. That's danger. Danger, danger, high voltage. Now oh, he's very carefully setting that ladder on Jeffrey Keel. So as not to hurt him too bad, but no, I'm just kidding. He's got something sicker in mind. Diablo! 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 The solid. Oh, man! He didn't quite catch all of it, but. You gotta imagine, he's not gonna bring all his weight down on the ladder, he'll kill himself. He did what he could and this could be it. Going for the pin, but. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Thought perhaps Jeff Keel had more fight left in him. Diablo, victorious. You'd see. That was not a good match for him and he is feeling the effects of it and he'll be feeling it all week. But he is successful in his retention of the title. His partner, Spike Vendetta, helping him up. Your winner and still HCW International Champion, Diablo. Stay tuned, folks. We got more coming up right in a minute after this. Next. Uh oh. 
Here comes Trumble. Tr trouble, excuse me. I'm tripping over my words today. Now, making his way out. Barry Slammer's first main event here to make business, here to make history. And he's got a shot at Wild Man Dan's coveted HCW title. Big boy Barry. I'm excited to see this match, and I think it's not like I'm not a Wild Man Dan fan, but man, Barry Slammer is so fun to watch. I hope he, I kind of hope he wins. I'm not gonna lie. The master of the Slamathon. <laughs> okay, I'm saying. <laughs> Barry Slammers tested. Let's hope and pray. Signed, sealed, delivered by Barry Slammers. The ropes are good. So, now making his way out to the ring, he is the HCW World Heavyweight Champion. And I love the new musical cue. Let's go! I can't help but jam out to the music. Wild Man Dan, HCW World Heavyweight Champ. HCW, World Heavyweight Implications, this match. Barry with a shot of a lifetime. Oh, I'm ready. Just doing some shadow boxing. Is Barry Slammers in, uh, so Wild Man Dan up against Big Barry Slammers. Ooh, wow. Hard knee strike from Barry Slammers. Right into a side headlock. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Quick jab just to uh, keep him in. Uh-oh. Wild man though, gonna push him off. Oh man, shoulder tackle. Very slammerous. Hits the ropes. Oh, trips him up, does Wild Man Dan. And now, oh, wow, right into a, uh, a looks like he's looking for a leg bar of sorts. Oh, no. STF. Step over toe hold face lock. And that is a brutal submission move. Just trying to wear the big man down a little bit before he goes to uh, do more work now. Oh, man. Wild man, the big suplex. One. Didn't seem like he exerted much effort picking up the big man. I'm surprised. I mean, Barry Slammers is not the largest man, but he, he's he's definitely up there. Wild man now. What's he? Yeah, what is he looking for? <laughs> Wild man. Oh man. Tornado DDT from the second rope. A first for Wild Man Dan, I believe. He's looking to, uh, he knows that Barry Slammers is probably, oh man, and right into a, One. a bulldog, very nicely done from Wild Man. Barry is down. A DDT followed by a bulldog. I mean, his face has got to be caved in. I haven't seen it. He hasn't turned the camera yet. But I guess it's probably messed up. Oh, wow. Double leg takedown. Oh, and what's this? Slingshot. Oh. Face right into the turnbuckle. 
Oh man, knee drop right to the back of the skull. That'll do it. That will ring your bell, I tell you. Oh yeah, it's wrong for sure. And now, what's he looking for? Oh, again with the knee drop. That's a good strategy. Oh yeah. Keep, keep trying to knock him out. These boys are both working the head and face. And that is, that's what kind of match this is, I guess. It is a last man standing match, which I don't know if I've said yet, but for the fans at home. Okay. <laughs> Just, All right, man. <laughs> yeah. And again, a third knee drop from Big Barry Slammers. Two, three. <laughs> he just awaits. Four, this five, could very well be it. Honestly, he might be too six, disoriented to stand. Oh, he's gonna help you. Knee drops are no joke. And an interesting thing about this matchup is the Barry Slammers is kind of the, I mean, I don't really know much about his personal life, but he's a tie-dye wearing, you know, uh, kind of, oh, wow! Huge high knee, great elevation. Ridiculous. Barry Slammers is always impressing me with his athleticism. Going for it again, oh, wow! Wild man! Caught him with a missile drop kick from the second rope. Come on, wild man. Barry. Able to use it. Oh! Clothesline! Another! Went for the neck breaker. Oh! Caught him with a with a punch or a rake it to the eyes. I couldn't really tell. Looked like a strong rake to the eyes. Uh oh. It's the Barry Slammer special. Oh, what's this though? Oh man, euthanasia! An old favorite of Wildman's. Kick now looking for... Oh man, Eagles wings! And Barry Slammers is gonna be shooken up from that. Euthanasia followed by Eagles wings. Why I never. Only reaching the count of seven before Barry reaches his feet though. Oh, Barry played a little possum there. Double knees. Uh-oh, looking for the driver. Oh, man! Barry Slammer special. Say goodnight, wild man, Dan. Three. <laughs> Four. That was awesome. Big boy, Barry. Really unleashing the fury. But Wildman, count of eight, almost hit nine, but Wildman reaches his feet. Big Barry Slammer is now setting up for something. Oh my, what? What is he thinking? I don't know what he's thinking and I don't like it. No way he's going for a top rope driver. No way. No chance in hell. Oh my God. Oh man. Wild man was able to muster something and One, flip Barry over. Two, three. Both men down. Four. What happens if they both get counted out? Five. A draw, I suppose. Six. It's not known to happen seven, now. Eight. Both men reaching the ropes. Nine. We're at nine. Ten. Oh, and what? What was that? Wild man, Dan. Barry Slammers was not able to get his knee off the ground in time. But Wild Man got up. And I can't believe it. Barry Slammers has been duped. Barry's not taking any of that shit, and I don't blame him. But your winner, and still, HCW World Heavyweight Champion, Wild Man Dan.